Hey guys, Coach Pillow is here. So Twitzy Zabel wants to know when is the best time to utilize each type of defensive maneuver, whether it's head movement, blocking, parrying. So let's get right into it. The first defensive maneuver you should be utilizing in a fight is your feet. You have no idea how this person fights. You don't know how fast they are, how strong they are. Does he throw in combinations? Does he throw single jabs, double jabs? So the best defense here while you get a read on your opponent is by stepping in and out of range using footwork. After 10 to 30 seconds into the fight, you should start to spend more time within fighting range. You want to primarily utilize head movement very early because in the first minute or so of the fight is when they're fresh. That is when they're throwing their fastest punches because they're fresh. I don't know about you, but to me, it's going to be much more difficult to parry punches coming at you that fast than to just move your head. After about 45 seconds to a minute, you should have a better calculation of your opponent's timing. Once you're more familiar with their timing, you can start to utilize your parries more. If you're not fast enough, then just resort back to your head movement. Now this doesn't mean neglect your parrying overall, it just means that it's not going to be your primary line of defense. Parrying should be mixed in with head movement to avoid somebody fainting and outsmarting your parrying. <laughs> Now, if you've got somebody who's fast and throws punches in bunches, you can ideally utilize blocking and try to catch and shoot in the middle of their combinations. It would just be too tiring to try to dodge all of their speedy combination punches. People who throw punches in bunches are often focused more on quantity over quality with their punches. Therefore, speedy combination puncher guys don't have a lot of power in their punches. So if you can draw them into engaging with you, you can catch them with a punch that'll hurt them. The more punches they throw, the more openings they expose. In contrast, let's say they're more of a power puncher than a speedy combination puncher guy. In this case, I'm primarily utilizing head movement. If they're more of a power puncher, it's best you avoid resorting to blocking. It's just too dangerous, you know? Their punches can penetrate through your guard and it's gonna hurt. And even if you do block, absorbing that heavy impact of their punches repeatedly will start to drain your energy. Usually, people who throw powerful punches are slower and easier to predict. This is an excellent recipe to utilize head movement against. Nice. <laughs> and although we're not going full power, you can see what an effect my little counters have in catching him off guard. Because, you know, people who throw power punches or rely solely on power punches are the easiest people to hurt. Good. And yes, I do get nailed with some punches here. Nobody's perfect. I'm not Floyd Mayweather. I can keep my hands up a little more for sure, but what I'm showing you here is just how important head movement is against the power puncher. Now just because in this video I say these certain things are the best defenses in each situation, for example here I'm saying you know use head movement against the power puncher, doesn't mean you should neglect all of the other defenses. You should still be mixing in all of your defenses in each situation, you know, parrying, blocking, head movement, all should be combined. It's just a matter of adjusting which type of defense will need to be utilized more prominently depending on the given situation. With this video, you should have a better understanding of what defensive strategies work better in any given situation. It might be overwhelming if you're just learning this, but with experience, all of this information will start to become second nature. Now keep in mind that these will not apply to everyone. You know, rules are meant to be broken, Every boxer is different. Head movement is not always going to work against all power punchers. Blocking is not going to always work against all speedy combination puncher people. But for the most part, this is a good base and foundation to go by in terms of defense. For this video, I basically just told my friend Gad here just to throw punches at me and I'm going to do whatever defenses are applicable to the situation. And then that I was going to do a voiceover in the end about basically instructing how to defend in each situation. So I hope you guys like it. 
Uh, please enjoy the rest of the video. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Ha, ha, ha.